Okay, you going? Just do. Yep. All right, so this is the heart, and then we have the aortic arch coming off of the, the heart. And then we have the descending aorta over here. It's also called thoracic aorta because it's descending in the, in the thorax. And this is the esophagus right here. Thoracic aorta, esophagus. So the first branch off of the aortic arch in the cat is the brachiocephalic trunk. And this branches into three different things. And this is one area where the cat's anatomy is different than the human anatomy. So uh, the brachiocephalic trunk in the cat branches into both common carotid arteries. So here we have the left common carotid artery, and this is the right common carotid artery. And this, this third branch is the uh, right subclavian artery. Okay. In a human, you'd expect to see the left common carotid artery as a separate branch of the aortic arch. So that's a little bit different. Um, okay, so here we have right subclavian, and this is the left subclavian artery. And you can follow these along. Uh, someone cut through that one, but this one is in good shape. Uh, and there's some veins overlying it, but you can still you can still trace its root over here. Um, so when the subclavian artery enters the axillary region, then you can call it the axillary artery. So by the time it's over here, I'd probably call it the axillary artery. And then when it's in the brachial region, you call it the brachial artery. And then um, when you get down in here, it, it'll branch into radial and ulnar arteries. I don't think they've quite dissected far enough to see that. Um, but that branching point would be somewhere down in there. If you trace the veins back in the opposite direction, then they basically have the same names as the arteries. So here we have brachial vein axillary vein, subclavian vein, brachiocephalic vein, and this is the other brachiocephalic vein. And this thick vein here is the external jugular vein. This thinner one is the internal jugular vein. The brachiocephalic veins join each other and drain into the superior vena cava, which is this right here. So I think that's about all you can see in this area in here of the blood vessels that you need to know. If you look down in here, this is the inferior vena cava. And then let's go to the abdominal cavity. So I'm going to... No, you keep going. Um, I'm just going to move around some of this stuff. So if you pull the abdominal contents to the side, um, you can see a lot of stuff. So here's the, here's the diaphragm from underneath. Here's a kidney. Um, as far as arteries, right after the aorta pierces the diaphragm, it gives off a major branch called the celiac trunk. Um, that might actually be a little bit difficult to see in here because there's still some other tissue that I think is covering it up. Um, actually, I don't think we're seeing it at all. It's higher up here. There it is. This showed up better on some of the other dissections, but um, this is the celiac trunk right in here, this artery right here. So that's the first branch off the aorta. Um, I'll tell you why I knew this one was not the celiac trunk, because the best way to identify arteries is to see where they go. And I followed this artery and saw that it went to the intestines. Um, and if it goes to the intestines, it's probably a mesenteric artery. So this is going to the small intestine and part of the large intestine including the mesentery that supports them. So this 
this tissue here that, that's uh, kind of transparent, has a lot of blood vessels in it, that's called mesentery. Um, so this is the superior mesenteric artery, that branch right there. And just above it is the celiac trunk, probably better in other cats, but, but that's it. And the celiac trunk branches into a common hepatic artery, a left gastric artery, and a splenic artery, each going to the, the organs um, that those arteries are named after. So actually this is probably the splenic artery right here, because so it looks like it's going to the spleen. This is the spleen right in here. All right, so let's look at some other arteries. Um, this is a kidney, so if you have an artery going to the kidney, that's called a renal artery. And here I see an artery going to the kidney. It actually looks like two arteries. One of them might be a suprarenal artery going to the adrenal gland, but uh, one of these is definitely a renal artery. Um, and then you have a corresponding renal vein. This is the descending aorta. This is the inferior mesenteric artery. You can tell that because it's going to a mesentery. The inferior mesenteric artery doesn't supply as much of the intestine as the superior mesenteric artery. It actually just supplies a portion of the large intestine and the mesentery supporting it. So that's the inferior mesenteric artery. Um, this is the inferior vena cava. Let's see. Um, I don't think we'll see any uh, gonadal arteries and veins, though there is a chance. I think we have a female cat here. Um, but I'm not seeing anything really, really clear in here. So I think maybe we'll, we'll just ignore those for now. Let's just follow the aorta down here. Um, these major branches at the end of the aorta in the human would be called the common iliac arteries. In the cat, these are called external iliac arteries. And these smaller ones down here are called internal iliac arteries. But in the human, uh, the aorta ends at the common iliac arteries, where it branches into them. And then these give off internal iliac arteries and continue on as external iliac arteries. So let's follow the external iliac artery down here through the iliac region. And once it passes into the femoral region, you can call it the femoral artery. And then uh, it looks like it got cut through there, but it, uh, it actually passes through the adductor magnus muscle. It ends up going behind the knee, where it's known as the popliteal artery. And I don't think they they dissected this. One of the other groups did a good dissection of the popliteal artery back there, but I don't think we'll see it here. We can talk about veins. This is the great saphenous vein. It's a very superficial vein. And then the veins just take on the names of the arteries. So we have the femoral vein. If we saw one behind the knee, you could call it popliteal vein. Uh, we have external iliac vein, and that drains into the inferior vena cava. Um, so I think that's about all you can see in this region here. If you if you did see an artery or vein that emerged somewhere close to the renal artery and vein um, and went to a gonad, either an ovary or a testis in the scrotum, that would be a gonadal artery. But they're kind of small and sometimes really hard to find. And that might be one right there, but that's Probably not, actually. Um, and this is really interesting in here, how we, have, how we have two arteries. If I labeled an artery in this region going to the kidney, I would just be asking for the renal artery. But uh, there, is, there is an extra one. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Looks like we just have one going to the kidney there, one renal artery one renal vein. Um, yeah, not sure what, what that extra one is doing there. But let's uh, go over to the other side and talk about the hepatic portal system. So whenever you see a yellow stained blood vessel 
that's part of the hepatic portal system. See this yellow stuff here? That's a system of veins that collects blood from the intestines and the stomach and the spleen and drains it back to the liver. Uh, so ultimately, all of that venous blood from the digestive organs drains into the hepatic portal vein, um, which is a bit tricky to identify. Um, could I actually have a scalpel from someone? Oh, and I think on this on this one, uh, we actually didn't find it. I think maybe the yellow didn't perfuse all the way through or something. But in a lot of these cats, um, you can see a little bit of, uh, of yellow dye poking through a large blood vessel in this area. And that's the hepatic portal vein. I think in this cat, it just didn't perfuse, and we're just seeing blood in here. That's congealed blood. But that would be the area of the hepatic portal vein going right up into the liver, very close to the gallbladder, which is this green thing right in here. Um, I don't know, I think, uh, I think that's about it for blood vessels. So, oh wait, what do we have over here? Uh, I guess it's not that different from the other side. Um, maybe you could call this the popliteal artery. Looks like that's that's behind the knee. And uh, that branches into anterior and posterior tibial arteries. I think the anterior one is actually further anterior than was dissected here. This looks like the posterior tibial artery. Okay, I think that's all we can see of blood vessels.